Fantastic response to yesterday's video, guys. Thank you very much for all your suggested comments. And uh, we do have notable mentions in terms of building this portfolio up to a minimum $100,000 and maybe maximum to a million dollars. Okay. So as we continue in this series, one thing you got to understand, I will be adding and I'll be taking away certain projects from this. But right now, as it stands, I think yesterday we've covered up to Solana. Okay. So you all saw the reasons why I, um, I went with Quant, Casper, Ethereum, Hello, Bitcoin, Games for a Living, HBAR, and Solana. Now, of these two, I reckon, I mean, if we start with HBAR, I think, you know, once, you, once you're in Casper, you can see actually the, uh, the, the massive similarities between how new Casper is and the market cap of uh, Hedera, right? And the price being very similar, circulating supply or supply being very similar as well. I may have to rotate out of HBAR and, and just take that into Casper, okay, for this, for this particular portfolio. So that's definitely something that I'm watching, guys. What do you think? I mean, there's about, what, 7,000 7, HBAR tokens here. And uh, if we take that over to, which is slightly obviously more expensive than um, Casper right now, uh, worth less because of the bigger, uh, have, have uh, less uh, potential in my opinion. Even though the technology is fantastic, I've, I've got HBAR in my other portfolio in the Ledger wallet. Um, but that is a point of discussion. Take that profit from HBAR, maybe make the Casper bag bigger. So that that's let me know what you think in the comments. Guys, look, uh, let's go to the next batch. Uh, so over here, Solana. I'm buying more Solana for this portfolio. I mean, right now I've only got 12, 12 souls. I think Solana is going to easily um, do its all-time high. In fact, it may actually go slightly over that. And the reason why you need one or two blue chips uh, in your portfolio, guys, is because as money comes in from Bitcoin, it goes into Ethereum. As it goes from it, it goes into the kind of uh, blue chip layer ones. Now, obviously, this is already f uh, fully diluted. This thing is about twelve billion dollars. And market cap right now, as it is, is $9 billion. So you're not going to get a 100x from this, in my opinion, of course. Uh, but the all-time high to where it is now, you know, you can actually do 5x, 10x, 15, maybe 20x on Seoul. Uh, if it establishes itself as the second, sorry, or the third largest cryptocurrency by market cap. Okay. And... Uh, Based on that, guys, the next one is Kronos. Now, again, Kronos is in the same position for me as uh, as as Hedera, um, as well as uh, Gala. At some stage, as as the crypto market uh, picks up, I might have to rotate the profit from that into Hello Games for a Living and Quant. But Kronos is a very good hedge there's a market capitulation of Binance, then we go into that. Gala, in this portfolio, I had Gala for a while. Uh, it's not obviously uh, performing well at the moment for obvious reasons that you all know, but I'll keep it there. Not a huge bag in this uh, particular portfolio, but I'll, I'll just keep it in there. Um, and then obviously when the price shoots back up, I might have to just start taking profits or just ride it all the way to the bull market. I mean, that's, that's really, what is that? $250, 20,000, 18,000 gala, gala tokens. For, for a small portfolio like this, which we will constantly see as it inflates, um, you, you don't have to sweat about it, you know? I mean, again, the next one I've got there is XRP. I may add to this and make it a thousand XRP. And the reason for that is, it's just a coin. It's a cryptocurrency that has a massive, massive following. All right. So 500 to a thousand of these, you know, a couple of hundred dollars, let it sit there. This is what I'm, um, I'm interested in to grow, uh, Moonbeam. This has a potential hundred thousand, sorry, 100 X all over it. And uh, at the moment, you can see there, I've only got $200 worth of uh, Moonbeam. 
it, it hasn't performed obviously all that well. It's at its all time lowest. And when the Polkadot season picks up, this is going to go and rip, in my opinion. So that's why I've got Moonbeam there. Previous all time high was nearly $30. I don't think we'll get that high, but we can go 10 plus, maybe $20. So that's actually got fantastic uh, tokenomics. Right now it sits at around 198. So it's outside, well outside the top 100. Um, and in a polka dot season, this could do really well. The next one in this particular portfolio is Pepe. Now you can see here at the moment um, in this um, bear market uh, portfolio, we've only got $200 worth of Pepe. I'm going to rank this up. I'm going to get at least a minimum a billion tokens now pepe is absolutely gonna smash in my opinion it's gonna be the number one meme coin uh for the next bull market in my opinion i think it's gonna do shiba numbers potentially doge numbers and uh the only thing i would say is you know at the height of the bull market or when when you start feeling that pepe uh portfolio size has inflated significantly try and rotate out get out you know that you know this is this is my idea for the uh for the for the meme tokens you know when 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 things pick up i'm not going to be too greedy i'm going to sell a limit order and see if i can get a wick on a, on a high number all right the next one a must have is veracity in my opinion especially after their recent burns the token is prime for a massive massive uh bull run and the thing I like about Veracity is it's actually trying to solve a real world issue, a real life problem. Okay. So Veracity definitely I've 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 got what what is this? Around I've actually added to this. So I've just got about a hundred thousand there. The next one that, that's a must have in my opinion, a dead blue chip that can wake up any moment, still relatively high market cap, is Algorand. So Algorand, interestingly. A lot of people hold Algorand, a lot of uh, big kind of VCs. Um, again, Skybridge Capital, Anthony Scaramucci. They hold a massive ba bag of Algorand. And why do you think it's, it's a positive thing that they hold something like this? The simple reason for that is because if this goes back up to the dollar, the $5 mark, you can actually have fantastic pumper mentals. It's one of the only, along with, um, I think Ada is also significantly down. But this is the lowest it's ever been, under 10 cents, guys. And it's not going to hang around there. You know, it's still a blue chip crypto, in my opinion. And uh, Algorand is definitely primed to do something. Now, at these prices, I'm not going to turn my nose on it. You know, I'm going to get around 10,000 of these. And if it goes to $10, thank you very much. Okay. Internet computer is an interesting one. Uh, the next one on the list. Um, I've got this as a uh, kind of during the first cycle of Pepe. I remember taking profits out of Pepe and put it in into loads of different altcoins in this portfolio. And internet computer was one of them. Now, this ecosystem right now is at the lowest it's ever been. Big, massive market cap. But you can do everything on internet computer. Am I bullish on it in the in the long term? Possibly in the short term, it may actually be a good accumulating phase. Uh, my target here is maybe just to pick up a thousand of these and then flip them at the soonest uh, as soon as we see a recovery. And then last but not least, for today is Miria. I'm still exploring Miria, but if you look at Miria, it's one of the few cryptocurrencies that have a green return on there, a plus. So, uh, along with, uh, obviously chain link. So my, my, my thing is this, right? We still have way to go. What do you hold out of this list? Okay. What, what would you currently hold? Let me just go into dark mode, maybe for some of you guys. What do you hold out of this? Where do you think we can take this? Um, I know somebody suggested that I should add BNB, Arbitrum and a few others. And I'm definitely going to do that um you know 100 bucks here 100 bucks there but you could see here that portfolio overall is being you know the total balance right now is about just under seven thousand dollars okay profit loss for the last uh seven days a thousand two hundred dollars 
Uh, let's go with three months. Let's see what we're doing here. Switch it up a little bit. And you can see here, look, you know, three months ago, we were we were kind of riding high. The, the valuation here was around uh, 7,600, but I have sold out of this. So some of these projects that I actually rotated out of, including uh, Magic, Jasmine, and uh, XDC, Arbitrum, and some BNB as well. But I'm looking to actually bring these back in uh, with the exception. I'm watching out for Jasmine for now anyway because I still think the project hasn't have, doesn't have a clearly defined way of me just trying to 100x, 100x my money. So let me know what you've got. Is there anything you want me to add to this? And if so, what, what is it? And, and we'll, you know, just a quick comment on why, why you think we should put that in. The lion's share of this is still uh, Casper and Quant. All right. So at least 30% of that portfolio is that. All right, guys, I uh, hope you're enjoying this series, man. Let me know what you think and smash the like, follow the channel and uh, get your comments in because I really want to engage with you at some point, you know. I, I just want to know how we can build this together because this is the only portfolio you're going to see that grows in front of your eyes. And the purpose for that is two things. One, bring more people into crypto. Let them believe this bottom number here doesn't remain there. If I did nothing today, I added nothing to it. I believe whatever that I've got in there will easily top over $100,000 in the bull market with no knowledge at all. This is the power of crypto and you're tuning in to DXB Crypto. Take care, guys. Safe.